Hey everyone, thanks for being here. I know it is a uh, Sunday and where I am, it's it's certainly kind of rainy and it's not super fun outside right now. But I wanted to talk to you guys. I know some new rules around monetization and what it means for small channels. So if you didn't know, it used to be, and this was after it was redone and revamped is that you needed to have 10,000 views to be able to apply to get monetized. Sorry, my dogs are totally running around in the background. And then they decided this week to change that policy and they made it so that now a channel needs to have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. Hey, Unicorn Time. And they also need to have 4,000 hours of watch time Uh, 4,000 hours of watch time in the last 12 months, which is 240,000 minutes, which is a lot of minutes. So <laughs> for a lot of channels that were on the monetization program, they have been kicked off until they actually hit the new threshold and they do have a small grace period. So they'll have until February 20th of this year. <clears throat> to hit the new requirements. And if they don't, then they will lose access to some of the partner program perks, which is really the ability to monetize because a lot of people were upset that they may not be able to do custom thumbnails, which isn't true. Um, so they can still do custom thumbnails. They can't on the cards link to external websites. That's maybe one of the other biggest changes. But other than that, you still get access to yeah custom thumbnails and being able to do end cards and all of that stuff. You just um, you can't probably participate in the AdSense. Hey, Karen, good morning. So I know that a lot of people are worried about this and they've gotten letters basically being fired from the YouTube partner program. And I have a second channel and I was fired as well from that channel and that's okay. Um, you know, my main channel is not as affected and that's fine, but I definitely, um, I am affected too, so I'm just putting that out there. But I wanted to talk about some different ways that you can make money on YouTube. And I'm not saying I'm an expert in making tons of money, but these are just some ideas if you haven't thought about it. Um, just, just putting these ideas out there. Hey Tony, how's it going? So number one, let's just get it over with really quickly, AdSense. AdSense is a way that you can make money. You do opt into the program. And then once you have the required views and now subscribers as well, you have the ability to run ads on your videos. Um, there's no guarantee on how many ads, there's no guarantee on what those ads will pay. Um, and viewers, you know, if they don't watch the ad, then you don't really get much money. Or if they don't go click on something from the ad, you don't go getting a lot of money either. So, you know, it's kind of a, let's, Yes, it's a way to make money, but it's not a lot of money. So for a lot of people, you may get a thousand views and get a dollar for it, let's say. So, I mean, you need to have like a hundred thousand views before you get a hundred dollars. So AdSense is not always a viable way to make money on YouTube. It's just a little bit of extra. So a lot of people who are upset about it, they need to think of it as a little bit of extra and not, you know, something they were entitled to, because if you think about it, they let us put our videos here on YouTube for free. And so, I mean, that's nice. And they let us advertise them and do custom thumbnails and all that stuff. So um, people are upset about AdSense. That money was never really ours. It's it's the advertisers and Google was just sharing it with us. And they are hoping that this will help to weed out some of the smaller channels that, you know, maybe re-upload other people's content that don't post very often. You know, this is just to make it so the ads are actually placed in front of channels that are maybe having a bit more consistency. So I don't think it's a bad thing and it, it's good. It gives people a new goal to reach and I, I, I'm fine with that. If you guys are here, I know I saw a couple people come up. I'm doing this on my phone today, so um, I don't have the little chat window open, so it will scroll up and then off the screen. But if you're here, give me a th thumbs up. And if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. So, all right, number two, another way to make money on YouTube, you can 
create merchandise. That's why you see a lot of people like Lord DIY has, you know, onesies and other people will have t-shirts and stuff like that. You can get hooked up with a company such as like Teespring and that's kind of nice because they'll handle the shipping and you can design the t-shirts on their website and you know, they take a chunk of it, of course, as the middleman, but it's nice because you don't have to put up a whole bunch of money to buy inventory and guest sizes and people can just order from the site and then, uh, you know, have the stuff shipped out to them and the, the website will take care of it, which is really, really nice. So that might be something um, some people might do create stickers or, you know, all the little tchotchke items that you love. If you were a business, you know, you're probably already making pens and bumper stickers and all that stuff. You could totally make that kind of stuff as well. Um, you can also get stuff in the app store and, you know, have custom emojis and, and different things like that. So, um, okay. Yeah. Shirts, hats, stickers, all that kinds of stuff. So number three, hey Dinesh, how's it going? Um, people don't think about this, but sometimes you can get paid in product from a, from a company. So there are a few sites that you can look into. There's Influencer, which you can go on. A lot of the time it has to do with beauty, but they do have some lifestyle stuff. Hey Jules, how's it going? And you can fill out surveys and do reviews and sometimes you'll get chosen for a box and they're like, hey, will you make an Instagram post or a, a YouTube video or something about this? And they will send you a box. Sometimes I'll get like makeup or different stuff like that. So it is possible you can do that. And, and th those sites are free. So. Influencer is one, Octoly is another one, but Octoly, I believe you have to have a higher number of subscribers, but the boxes tend to be better, higher end stuff as well. And then another thing is you can reach out to companies. So when I was doing my Foundation Friday um, videos, the way that I was doing that, I was Instagram DMing, I, I, I almost a hundred, I think I messaged like almost a hundred and five or six of them got back to me and sent me product. And that was, you know, $50, $60 bottle of foundation, which I didn't have to buy. So, you know, I made $600 worth of product off of sending some emails. Um, so, I mean, if you get out there and get your hustle on, you can totally do that. If you're telling a company, hey, will you please send me this whatever and I will do a dedicated review on my YouTube channel. Some of them are gonna say yes, okay? So then that you can move from that. You can also go into another way. Um, number four is paid collaborations. So a company can contact you and say, hey, not only are we gonna give you product, but we may give you $100 or $200 to do this review for us. Okay, enough, enough with the wrestling. Um, and so that is another way that you can get paid. So with that, there are specific rules you do need to denote in your description box with FTC rules, you know, disclaimer saying that you were paid for that particular video and it is a sponsorship. I would say don't do sponsored videos for products that you don't use or don't like, such as I've been offered sponsorship videos for things like sunglasses, but I, or it was for just regular glasses, but I've had LASIK and I don't need glasses. So that wouldn't really be a, a good product for me to promote or, you know, so keep that in mind just because a company is willing to pay you and a lot of them will. Um, it Don't recommend it unless, unless it's actually something that you use. Okay, um, so there are some companies that you can get hooked up with where you can write proposals and there are companies that are saying, hey, we're willing to pay X amount of dollars for a certain amount of posts or videos and stuff like that. And those would be um, Grapevine. You can find that like Grapevine Logic, I think it is. There's also one called Famebit. And just like I said, yeah, I had been reached out to to do a sponsored video for like a perfume monthly subscription. But the truth is like, I didn't like their terms as much as I happen to be a scent bird user for the last year and I really like their stuff so I didn't want to take that video or there was a video where I was pitched where they offered me cell phone cases or grips for cell phones and it wasn't really something that I thought was for me or for my channel at that point so I was like oh no thanks but I do know some people that do phone accessory type videos and I put them in touch with them and I think that's a good way to also like build your relationships with other YouTubers and your friends is you know recommend them for projects that come along that actually do fit their niche. Okay, um, next 
Oh, if you are working with those paid collaborations, you can also start doing things like, hey, if you, you know, give me a discount code or something like that for my people and you get a small chunk of it, that's basically called like an affiliate relationship. And so the next section is going to be number five, which is using affiliate links. So the biggest one that's out there right now is usually Amazon. And so most people are going to, you know, maybe link the equipment that they're using or, you know, a product that they're talking about in a particular video. But um, Amazon's really great because there's so much of what is available on there and you can use basically a URL shortener to put it in the description box. And if anybody makes a purchase from your Amazon link, um, it could be that you are recommending the shoe polish for, you know, where I was repairing Louboutin shoes, but maybe if someone buys it, I might make five cents or something like that. But if they decide that while they're also buying that, they also want to buy uh, a television, you could get a small percentage or chunk off that one as well. So that's why an Amazon one is a really easy one to um, get because everyone buy, buys stuff off of Amazon. So why not? Um, there's also one one that's called Magic Links and it's like magic with a K. I think it's like magiclinks.org. And the reason why I like that one is a lot of other places like Share a Sale, which is another one you can do. It's like an online marketplace where you can go search for different brands or categories, find out what their code is, and then you can insert that into a description box. But you have to apply sometimes for each of the different campaigns separately and then keep an eye on expiration dates and stuff. So it's a lot of work for some of the smaller channels to do something like that. So I would recommend doing magic links because not only is it super easy to sign up, they'll even have like a little Chrome extension or something for your web browser where you can be shopping on a page and hit the button and it will scan the page that you're on for the shopping item and it will let you know if it's uh, a magic links company and if you could create an affiliate link for it to put into your um, description box. Hey Mahi, how's it going? So, there are tons of different stores within the Magic Links area. So there's like Sephora and Ulta and all sorts of different places. So you don't have to go like on share a sale and apply for each one of those campaigns separately. You can just do it all through Magic Links and they track your, you know, your clicks and all of that for you. And then once you hit a certain threshold, they will send you out a direct deposit, which is great. She is cute, but she's a handful. She's fighting with her brother right now. All right, um, there's also kit.com and you can use your Amazon affiliate links with that. Yeah, you have more to say? You're just sad, you're just sad you're not playing with Cooper. Um, and so you can, one nice thing is instead of having 10 links to all of your equipment that you're using, you can link to your kit.com and say like, hey guys, this is all of the equipment that I'm using. And then you can also save room in the description box as well. So that can be really helpful. Stop it, stop it. Um, all right, so the next way, number six, you could make or sell a course or a webinar. And a lot of people, they're like, oh my gosh, what could I possibly teach? There's probably something that you're really good at that someone else needs help with. So if you had a business and it was about whatever, maybe that's something you could create an e-course or an online course or a webinar that people would you know, pay money to be part of. So that's something else that you could do. Um, let's see, it could be something that you've learned or just something that you have domain knowledge in. If you guys have hung in this long, give me a thumbs up on that video. I know the dogs and everything are going crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, now the big one, the big one. Okay, stop antagonizing your sister. All right. Number seven, you can create an ebook or you know you can publish a, a book or an audiobook. And so with self-publishing and even Amazon will allow you to do this now, you can, hey Allison, how's it going? You can start writing on a subject that you are an expert on. And even if you sold it as an ebook in Amazon for you know 99 cents or something like that, all you need is a few people to buy that and you're already making more than you would have off of your like AdSense. Like it, it's a much better way for you to be making money is actually having something tangible that, you know, that your customers, clients or whatever could, could have. And then if you are, you know, doing podcasting or anything like that, you could take all of your podcasts, roll them into some audiobook and make them into chapters. You know what I mean? You could totally have something that you could sell. You would make more money off that than you would off AdSense. All I'm trying to say is like, stop relying on AdSense because it's just one, it's so volatile. 
to like you get paid out so little it's just not even worth it okay um, number eight is going to be you could create a patreon or you could create um, the abilities to do super chat opportunities so some people I know they will do channel reviews off of super chats and they can make more off super chat off one you know hour or two hour long session than <laughs> what are you doing then um, you know an entire month's worth of AdSense because if someone pays five ten fifteen dollars for some super chat reviews of their channel you know that's the equivalent of 120,000 views of whatever video you were going to put out so it's a lot faster to do something through like a super chat than anything else and if you're in patreon you can do different tiers and some people are gonna be, feel kind of weird about that but you know people are used to probably supporting the creators that they really like and you can do things like you can have a separate and private instagram page for the people who follow you on patreon you could have you know exclusive unlisted videos that the public doesn't get a link to only the people in your patreon get um there could be you know something where you do a certain blog post that only they can see i mean you can make it whatever you really want but there are things that you can do for patreon levels and that's that's just an easy one that you could do that people can pay monthly to help support you there's also things like twitch and you now where you can uh, you know once you do a whole bunch of streaming on you now you, if you're invited into their partner program people can subscribe to your channel and pay up a, a monthly fee which is kind of a cool way to support and you know they can also it's like a tip jar people can buy these like gold bars and coins to interact with you and they just if they like you they can throw you some likes and thumbs up and gold coins or whatever it is and that will actually that money goes to you so that's a that's a cool thing that you now has I know that one of the people that I've been following she has a much larger following on you now than she actually does on YouTube and she live streams every every weekday on you now and the amount of money that I see her get per you now session is actually it's quite impressive hey crystal how's it going so that is definitely a way that you can also make money you can also set it up in you now with your obs stream settings where it will go from you now as well as to your youtube but you know you could also do you now videos that are exclusive to the people like i said in your patreon group or in your you now subscription so it's another way that they may give you three or four dollars a month and they get exclusive content and access to you so um hey dds hernandez i know you said you were going to be here um okay nine a different way that you could make money you can also make money if you want to intern for a larger channel you could approach some people who you know maybe need editing help or you know thumbnail help or they need help with doing their tags description boxes translations any stuff like that if you are a big um, fan of someone a lot of those like you PewDiePie and all those people they pay people to translate or you know they do it for credit or whatever else but a lot of people will do stuff like that and the stuff that you would learn while you're interning for them um it it's it's worth a lot of money i guess you would say for the tribal knowledge so that's kind of a cool way that you could be doing that you could be bringing value to them learning the ropes you could be then applying what you learn you've been using iMovie tutorials yay oh you're so welcome i'm so glad that that helped you that that's the whole point i want people to start creating stuff and making videos and if that helped you that is awesome so um, you could also become a virtual assistant for people that have channels, you know, so that's another way that just by knowing people in YouTube, that could be a way that you could be making money as well. And then last, you could be selling services. So you could be a consultant for other people who are trying to be more successful. You could, you want to create a channel, but you're too shy. Oh, just do it anyway. Sometimes I think that YouTube is actually an introvert's dream because I can be here and I am an introvert technically and I can, you know, be talking to myself, but I can still be talking to people, which is kind of the dream. It's kind of great. Um, oh my gosh, I went to, this is just a side note. I went to the company like holiday Christmas party. And there were so many people there and so many bodies that I was just like, I'm too old for this. I'm too old. I can't do this. I got, I got to go home. I want to go hang out with my puppies and, and, you know, watch TV and, and not be here. So <laughs> I didn't make it very long at the holiday party, but, um, yes. 
So if you're really good at Photoshop, could you be helping people with Photoshop and selling, you know, editing services? I see people all the time in these different Facebook groups. They're selling cartoon animations or intro, outros helps or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So if you're, you know, like I said, some people are selling channel reviews and, you know, they're designing media kits and designing, you know, the person's avatar or their cover art. You should see the number of people on Fiverr that are just designing cover art, you know, or offering video editing services. So those are all different ways as well that you could be making money and still being involved in YouTube. So I hope that they gave you guys nine other ways besides AdSense that you could be making money. I would love to help someone and create a channel just need to buy a camera i you know i would say a camera is not a prerequisite to being able to do youtube i know like jenna marbles you know she's what 16 million people now and she started off of her macbook lap you know her laptop web camera and i remember those videos and they were grainy but she was funny and i loved watching them so i know that some people um Actually, some people I know with a pretty good following, they still use the Logitech 920 um, little webcam because it does shoot in high, high HD and it is around 60, $65 on Amazon. And hold on one second. You guys, you guys stop. Yeah, it's around $65 on Amazon and that's what they're using in a separate mic. Some people I know are going just off of their cell phone alone and it's working for them. So I would just say, you know, most of the people who start, if you go back and look at some of their earliest videos, they're pretty awful. It could be, you know, whatever equipment they're using or anything like that, or their editing is just not that good, or their lighting, take your pick. But I just, I would say, if there's something that you really wanna share and get out there, don't let that stop you, because everyone can get better. But um, yeah, Tammy, I'm glad you were here. Thank you for, um, thank you for being here. You guys, I hope that you guys have an awesome Sunday. If you guys have additional questions, um, drop them as a comment. All of your comments are gonna go away, so if you wanna come back later and leave a comment, definitely try and look at them and answer them for you. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I'm trying to help you guys, trying to help out everyone. So I hope you guys have an awesome Sunday, and thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.